Hi, I'm Sydney and welcome to my Flock and Squawk. Today we are making Watergate salad and talking about Martha Mitchell. So if you're like me, you may have never tried this before unless maybe you live in the Midwest. Salads like this are just not something that is common widespread anymore at least, if they were. But this is a salad that's not really a salad. It, it has pudding mix, Cool Whip, fruit, and a maraschino cherry. Let's put it together and then we will talk about Martha Mitchell. First you need Cool Whip, crushed pineapple, pistachio jello pudding, maraschino cherries, Stay Puft marshmallows, and pecans. First I chopped up my pecans. I didn't really pay attention to how big I was chopping them, just that each one was at least broken up a bit. Then I drained my can of crushed pineapple. This is a 20 ounce can, I believe, but I did not use all of it. My Cool Whip, I used about half the container, which was eight ounces, and I let it come to temperature, room temperature, so it was thawed. Then I add my pistachio pudding mix, no water, no milk, no nothing, just straight into the Cool Whip. I just mixed it up and then I added my chopped nuts, mixed those in, and then I added my crushed pineapple. Like I said, I just eyeballed this. If I had to guess, I put probably a cup of crushed pineapple and probably a cup and a half to like a cup of the pecans. And then for marshmallows, I eyeballed it again, but it was probably two cups of mini marshmallows. Finally, I mixed that up and I put it in a Tupperware container, maraschino cherries for garnish. Okay, and so I just put the cherry on top, and I'm going to give it a try. You may have seen that I did take a sneaky little lick of the spatula, but here is my first official taste test. So I'm like, I'm gonna get the cherry. So in some parts of the US, these are called salad cherries. I grew up knowing them as maraschino cherries, which is basically like a dyed um, syrup, sugar, laced cherry. You can find these other places around the world, for example, Italian cherries that come in like the fancy jar, but here's the taste. It's hard not to like. I kind of just eyeballed the amounts for things but it's creamy because of the Cool Whip. It has this like pistachio ice cream flavor. You know, it's not really actual pistachio, but it has like that tiny hint of it. There's a little bit of slight toothiness thanks to the pecans that I put in. And I did not get any marshmallows in that bite, but let's take another and I will talk about Martha Mitchell. So Martha Mitchell is a woman at the heart of Watergate, which is why Watergate salad, we're talking about Martha Mitchell. She was a wife of one of the important people in the White House around the president at the time. She was a big advocate for Nixon during his campaign, but post his campaign and in the start of the Watergate scandal, she knew something was wrong. She wanted to come out to it. She was known in the press and 
they loved her on the campaign trail because it was just this bold, larger than life almost woman who advocated. She spoke her mind and it was all fun and games until she started speaking out against the president and against what was happening in Washington as a whole. That's when things turned on her. All of a sudden, this woman that they held in high regard and put up on a, um, not even a pedestal, but just sort of let her speak her mind, go to the press, it's Martha, like, she's on our side. All of a sudden, it turned against her. She is a victim of domestic violence, and she was famously held in a hotel room against her will. Her husband claimed that this was not his intent and that the bodyguards did it against his will or without his blessing. A lot of that information, like, I am not an expert on Martha Mitchell or history, but feel free to Google and fact check me. Let me know in the comments down below if I'm getting the story wrong. But basically, she was degraded publicly. She famously had a reporter that she would go to and she eventually died. Her funeral was large and proud because it was found out that Martha was correct. Watergate did happen. All of these things that she was speaking out against the president were true. She ended up with a big floral arrangement that said Martha was right at her funeral that her husband and her daughter attended, both of which she was estranged from. And yeah, she is one of those women that like needs to be focused on in the Watergate scandal. And there was a TV series not that long ago that I watched and was how I predominantly learned about Martha Mitchell that highlighted her specifically, her story in the Watergate. This salad is named for it and it's kind of a silly thing, but if that's one way we can help keep the memory alive of Martha Mitchell, who in fact has a psychological term named after her where someone speaks up like Martha Mitchell and everyone denies or doesn't believe them and then it comes out later that they were correct. It's almost kind of silly to say this, but with the Watergate salad reminding me of the Grinch, it's almost like another work of Dr. Seuss where Horton hears a who, where Horton talks, tells people, hey, I hear something, it's talking to me. And later they find out that who's do exist. So in, in a weird way, that feels like a nice little thread. But thank you so much for watching. What proportions and like how much, what other things do you put in your Watergate salad? Have you ever tried it? Do you like this little extra history lesson? It's a little bit like tasting history, I know. I love his videos, I don't want to take away, but I feel like talking about Watergate, specifically Martha Mitchell, is really important. Yes, Watergate was predominantly about the men, but Martha Mitchell did her part. So I hope you flock and squawk again with me sometime. Thank you so much for watching. Have a great day. Bye!